Okay, first thing this morning, I'm going to start by taking some horse manure, put it into some pots, go over to my banana plants and separate some pups and put them in the pots, water them, fertilize them, let them grow, because there's a bunch of pups on some of my banana plants. And then I have a host of other jobs to do around here, but I'm going to start with that. Okay, got some horse manure. Now I'm going down to get the pups. Once I put the pups in, then I have to get some chips to put on top and then fertilize. So let me go ahead and get them. Okay, I got everything set up over here, so let's get on with it. Okay, I got my drill. Got my auger bit. That's to plant them. Some other tools over here. Okay, I'm going to want to separate a few of these and a few of those, but not all of them. So let me start over here. First thing I want to do is remove some of this ground cover real gently. Make sure there's no other, make sure there's no other pups popping out or snakes. the tool okay no snakes around so I want to get this one so I'm going to move some of the mulch Okay, 
I got the ground cover, the chop and drop out of there, pulled some weeds, moved the mulch. Now we're going to go ahead and remove the pup. Okay, I'm going to want to remove some dirt. So let me go ahead and do this here. Looks like another pup starting right there. Okay, this leaves in my way, but that's all right. I'm going to cut this one off. That one's got something coming out of it, so I'm going to leave it, but let me go ahead and get some more over here and remove this leaf that's in my way. Okay, come back on this side. Here's some roots from the banana plant. I don't want to disturb those. I don't want to cut them. Here's another root. Here's another root. Okay, so now I'm going to go ahead and chop off a little piece of that. Going to grab my shovel. And I want to get behind it. I think pretty much that's got it. Get some more of this dirt out of here. Okay, I can tell it's right there, it's connected. Right here. Get that out of there. Okay, here you go, I got the pup out. You can see where I cut it off right here, flat. And there's a lot of roots around it. 
So I did a good job on that one. There's a couple little roots. Okay, I'm going to save those roots. I'm going to experiment. I'm going to try to transplant those. So anyway, can you see that down in here? Now I'm going to remove this guy right here. I'm going to take this dirt. Push it down in that hole. Okay, that's what I want to show you there. Okay, if you see, I went ahead right here, and I wanted to see where the banana plant goes down and goes into the base, and I'm going to get right behind it right there and cut it off at the base. I want to come right in here, right down, right there. Okay, if I did it from up here, I might have came down like this, and I might have missed it. So, by digging it out, now... I definitely got it by the base where I want it. Okay, I went ahead and got it, as you can see, right here, real close where it was coming out of the tree. If I would have, if I would have came down this way, I would have, I would have cut off all the roots. But I followed it right up against the trunk and cut it. Now I have all these nice roots. Can you see that? Okay. And that's what that looks like. I got it right up against the trunk, just like that.
Okay, try to give you a close-up over here. I'm going to do the same thing with this one. So let me get down in there. Okay, this leaf is in my way, so I'm going to I'm going to cut it off. Right here. I don't need it. I'll use it for chop and drop on it. But there's there's this pup, this pup and this pup. I'm going to leave that on. I have to take this one out cuz it's connected to that. So I'm going to get both of them together. And once again, I'm I'm looking around me, making sure I don't. Make sure there's no snakes around. Now I'm going to come down in here, real gentle. Okay, remove some of these chips a little bit over here. Okay, now I'm going to try to get in here the best I can. See, there's been some banana roots. I'm moving them instead of cutting them. And by doing it with by your hand, you can feel them better. Okay, so let me see if I can show you that. Okay, so what I did is I removed the dirt around this way and I removed it around the back side and that side. So I could feel where the trunk, I could feel where this trunk meets this plant. And then I made sure that this wasn't attached to that. And I could cut it close to this down so I don't catch that root.
okay so let me let me try to take this these two out right here so I'm gonna come down right here Okay, you can hear it when I'm cracking it down. Let me work it all the way around. Okay, I'm gonna need my shovel on this one. So. I'm gonna come right down here and miss that one plant, hopefully. I'm going to come in this way, right here. And I want to remove that right there. Okay, I think I got it. Okay, so on this one, I removed it right here. And luckily, look at this. If I would have went right down here, I would have cut it off and not got any roots. But I went ahead and cut it way out here so I got roots on it see those roots and this one I went ahead and cut it and I got a bunch of roots and I'm gonna leave this pup in there right now now you can see the root right down in here I'm gonna I'm gonna plant this see that right there I'm gonna plant it and I should get one coming up Here's another one right here. Okay, here's the base. I left this one alone right there. And I got all this out. Here's the base and I just went around. Here's a little bit of a base right here. There's a root on it. Okay, let me cover this all back up. Back fill it. Here's another pup coming out right here. Can you see this one right here? There's another pup coming out right here and I left it alone. Right there. 
Okay. Okay, this is hard to do because I'm all dirty. I'm getting the camera dirty, so I'm trying not to get the camera dirty. So let me go ahead and I got all these out right here. And I'm gonna backfill them. Okay, that's backfilled. Let me get my tools out of here. And I'll show you what I got here in a second. Okay, so these are the two pups I took out. They got nice roots on them. Over here. Here's two nice pups. I got roots on them. And over here I got one, two, three. I got these roots. Okay, so what I when I was taking it out, I got one with a root, another piece with a root, and here's another piece with a root. Well, if I plant this in there and there's a root, there's a good chance I'm going to grow another pup out of that, so I'm going to save these. Okay, so now I'm going to put mulch around it. Gotta be careful where you step because there's there might be more pups coming up and you don't want to mess them up. So now I'm gonna take my chop and drop, put all that back on. Okay, the chop and drop's on. Now, I'm gonna take the new leaves I cut off. I'm gonna chop them. I can't even, I can't really see. I'm sweating and the sun's in my face. But anyway, I left one pup on and I cut four pups off, plus I have those roots. Now on this one, oh, 
over here. Okay, I got one, two, three, four, five pups. I want to remove these two because those three, actually, I want to remove those three and leave those two because this plant here, this one right here, is going to be replacement when that comes up. So I'm going to leave that one and that one and cut the other one off since it's the bigger one. Okay. So anyway, these I'm going to go ahead and plant in here and then go take them over there and then I'll do this afterwards or another day. I'm soaking wet already. Florida is so hot in the morning. It's in the 90s already. That sun, I can't even look at the camera. It's so bright. That's why I need the hat on. Keep that sun out of my, my eyes. But anyways, let's go take this over by the water hose and I'll plant them. Okay, there's a couple ways that you could do that. One is you could just cut it with the scissor, but when it's up too high, use a machete. This here is really sharp, and I'm not gonna chop it. I'm just gonna put it right here on the leaf gently, and I'm gonna do this. I removed the leaf just like that. Now I'm gonna chop it and drop it right there. But now I'm gonna come over here and you always want to get the bottom one. You don't want to get that one. You want to get this one. So I'm going to go ahead and remove this right here. Just like that. I better lower that. Okay, I already chopped those off, but I don't think the video got it. Okay, this is tough doing it. You probably noticed that the video camera fell. It's on mulch. Mulch is soft, so this is how you can cut it with the scissor or a sharp machete. The scissors probably a really good way so you don't cut your hand. And then you put all these around around the base. I gotta go ahead and get those, so I'll leave that. But all this chop and drop is gonna go around the base over here. And don't, and don't worry about your pups. Your pups will grow right out of that. Okay, so I'm going to come back and do that. But I just wanted to chop and drop that. Let me go ahead and plant these right here. Um, so I don't have to take time and go move. I'll go put water on them right afterwards. Okay. These are already compacted down. So I'm gonna take, take my auger. I'll do this large one first. Soften up the middle. Okay, that'll make it easy to plant. Let's go ahead and do this large one first. Okay, this is the biggest one right here. See all those roots? I'm gonna take that and put it down in there. 
move all this dirt, get it up high. Okay, now I'm gonna stick this down in there. Put the roots going round, facing down, like that. And move all this dirt back around it. Make sure those roots are going down. Press the dirt down to hold it up. Okay, so I'm going to put more dirt around it when I go over. Okay, I'm still going to put more dirt around it and then mulch over it and water it in and fertilize it. But that's good right now. Going to take this next big one and put it in the bigger pot and then these are smaller pots. Okay, all the roots are here, so I'm going to take this, put this down. Pack it down around it. That's planted. Okay. Got two more. Let me go ahead and take this one. Move the dirt out. Get the root down. And fill the dirt back around them like that. Then I'll put some more, some more horse manure, and then some compost on it. Okay, let's go ahead and dig this out. Gonna take this, get the roots, make sure the roots go down and around. Okay, got the roots down placed. I'm gonna put this, fill this in around it now. Okay. I got two more here, so. See, I'm loosening all of this up because I'm going to go ahead and plant these in there. So I'm going to remove some of the dirt. I'm going to take this and plant it right here. That's one. Three. 
here's just some roots. I'm not going to do those. Okay. And this here, I could do one more over there. Okay, so I got two big ones and two smaller ones, and I got all those cut off roots. We parted the base. Hopefully one or two of those might grow a pup, and I got one empty. Now I wanna go water and fertilize. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and water with some well water. Close off the plant. Okay, those are all watered in good. Now let me go put them down there. I'm going to put some chips on there. What are the chips?
Okay, I put chips on them. And I got them watered again. I wet the chips. Okay, I put those along there because there's irrigation. Now I can put irrigation to those. Okay, so basically there you have it. I went ahead and removed the pups from the parent plant. I got the roots on the pups. I put manure in pots. I drilled down and I went ahead and planted the pups, backfilled it with the manure, watered them really good with well water, went ahead and put chips on there, and then wet the chips so the moisture holds them. So, anyway, that's how you multiply your banana plants. If you have the room, you go ahead and multiply them. If you don't have the room, put them in pots. And you could go ahead and give them to friends and family and people online or the group. Or you could just go ahead and sell them. But I wouldn't just cut them down and waste them because you don't need them. Go ahead and spread the cheer.